Last time I was here, you were beating my gophers, so thank you very much. Uh, I know. Look, I know on November 5th, I learned it while I was over here what Michigan's going to do. Let's go! <laughs> Folks, thank you all for coming out. We're blessed on this beautiful evening. I know you could have done anything else, but you came here because you love this country. Eight days till the election. And our team is running like everything's on the line because everything's on the line. But here's the good news. If you're feeling any of that anxiety, any of that nervousness, any of that worry, we've got the solution for you. Get out there and vote for Kamala Harris. I know, I did it last Wednesday with my son who voted the first time, and it works. It works. I am so honored when she asked me to be on this ticket with her. And I have to tell you, uh, I may someday live down the fact that I screened her first call and didn't answer it. So, uh, look, her first day from a prosecutor to a district attorney to the Attorney General of California to a United States Senator to the Vice President, Kamala Harris had had one client, the people. She stood up for women and children against predators and abusers. She stood up for seniors and workers against fraudsters and big corporate interests. And she stood up for families and communities and took on transnational gangs and traffickers. She talks about this. Kamala's mother taught her something. When you see something wrong, don't complain about it. Do something about it. That's exactly what she's always done. And that's exactly what she'll do as your next president. Look, Kamala and I are offering a new way forward where we lower costs for working in class people and middle class folks. And everyone gets an opportunity to get ahead, not just get by. She has a vision of an opportunity for all and freedom for everyone. Now look, I know some of you are here and we got a pretty young crowd, it's a good thing, but there's some gray hairs in here. You can remember when the Republican Party actually used to talk about freedom and mean it. Turns out that this group means that their government is free to invade your office, your library, your bedroom. Look, I've talked about it. I know you got it in Michigan. It's a Minnesota thing, golden rule. Mind your own damn business and we'll get along better. We'll get along fine. When Kamala and I talk about freedom, freedom for the people, not politicians, to make your own decisions about your own life. Freedom for seniors to retire with dignity by strengthening Social Security and Medicare. And I say this as a dad and a teacher and as a governor, free to send your kids to school without them being shot dead in the halls. And I'll, I'll take no crap on this. I know guns. I'm a veteran. I'm a hunter. Kamala and I are both gun owners. We know that you can uphold the Second Amendment, but also uphold our first responsibility, protecting our children. Interesting fact here. Both members of the Democratic ticket are gun owners. The Republican nominee can't pass a background check. Let's be very clear. The most basic freedom. When we talk about freedom, Kamala Harris and I mean the freedom for every woman to make decisions about her body without government interference. And these folks aren't done yet. I mean fertility treatments too. And there's so many of us out there having to talk personally. If you've never gone through the hell of infertility, I guarantee you know somebody who has. It took Gwen and I years to finally have the daughter that we had. When she was born, we named her Hope. And, and she and her brother Gus are our whole life. That's what this election is about. Gwen and I were only able to have that family because we had access to fertility treatments. And I will be damned if anyone in this country should be denied the family that they want. All right, this is this for about half this crowd. This is for the men. All of you have those women in your life that you love, daughters, partners, sisters, friends, neighbors, colleagues, whoever it might be. Their lives are at stake in this election. Be very clear about that. 
And be very clear about this. When Congress restores the right to choose making Roe the law of the land, Kamala Harris will proudly sign it into law. Eight days to go. This election's already started. People are voting across the country. And so you know what it means. This is where I've got to do it, huddling up a little bit here. Time for a little bit of a peck talk. Look, we got to admit it. This game is tied. Two minutes left on the clock. We got the ball. We're driving down the field. We're doing the blocking and everything we need to do. And I know you got a saying around here that came from Bo. The team, the team, the team. And boy, do we have the right team. So all gas, no brakes for the next eight days. Plenty of time, plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. Our time now, we're moving this thing over the next eight days, an inch at a time, a yard at a time, one door at a time, one phone call at a time. One of those door knocks and one of those interactions because one or two extra votes per precinct in the state of Michigan will make Kamala Harris the President of the United States. If you got a buck or two, pitch in at KamalaHarris.com or find out what you can do. Early voting is open in Michigan. How many have voted? Yes. If you haven't, register in person. Go down, talk to your township folks. Get in there. You can do it all the way to Election Day. As Maggie said, visit IWillVote slash MI Ann Arbor. This is it. Leave it all on the field.